I like things to be simple. On the most basic level, editing is organizing footage into a beginning, middle and end. Simple as that. And the starting point with most edits is the raw camera footage. We produce hundreds of videos a year and an increasing number of our clients have been asking for the raw camera footage after a project. This is quite common if we're working with a design agency who has video editing capabilities in-house or a large organization with an internal marketing team. But it takes more than just dragging a few clips around a computer to turn raw footage into a polished professional edit. Working with raw camera footage, for those not familiar with the technical and creative side of editing, can be a battle. It's time consuming, confusing, demanding, and probably not the best use of your time either. So if you've been landed with a hard drive full of clips from a shoot and want to know what to do, here's a quick rundown of how to get the best out of your raw footage. What is raw camera footage? Raw footage is the original unedited video that's captured during filming. It's completely bare of any color grading, sound mixing and editing. So it is literally raw from the camera. Just to be clear, the term raw also refers to an image format used by high-end cinema cameras, but let's not get bogged down in those kind of details. Because raw footage comes straight out of the camera, it won't look or sound like anything you're used to. The colors may be slightly washed out or have a slight orange or blue tint. The sound might be echoey or imbalanced. There's also likely to be more footage than you expect, and a lot of it might not be usable such as gaps at the start and end of interviews or several cutaway shots of exactly the same scene. Working with raw footage is a technical challenge, but there are things you can do to make it work for you. How to work with raw footage. Colors may appear faded or desaturated in raw footage. This is because the footage has not had any color correction applied, as this typically happens at the end of the editing process and not in the camera. Once you've finished an edit with raw footage, take a step back from it and take a look at the color with fresh eyes. Look at the color balance. Is it too warm or too cold? Are the colors saturated enough? Does the contrast need balancing? If there's already been a professional edit made from the footage, maybe have a look at that and see how the colors compare to your version. If you're editing raw footage yourself, the audio will definitely need some work doing to it as well. Raw camera footage is not captured with a perfectly mixed stereo sound. Instead, it'll have a number of mono audio channels, anywhere between two to 10 and maybe more. Each audio channel captures different audio sources with different microphones. For example, interview subjects speaking on camera will have their own microphone, which will feed into one of the audio channels. Another channel may have a camera mounted microphone on it to capture the general sound of a space, also known as a scratch mic. The audio from the scratch mic is only used when capturing general shots or cutaways. So if you're editing an interview or if the sound is too echoey, try and identify the scratch mic and turn it off. Editing with raw footage. Editing raw footage yourself is a guaranteed way to put your computer through its paces. Our edit suites are of the high spec and we're constantly upgrading them. So if you're thinking of using an old Windows XP laptop as your edit station, you might want to think again. If you're gonna be editing raw footage, you will need to have a dedicated edit computer or at the very least a high spec PC or Mac. You'll need lots of hard drive space too, as roughly one minute of raw footage is the equivalent of one gigabyte of hard drive space. To put that into context, it's about the same size as 2000 Instagram photos. But if you don't have a fast computer to work with, there is a solution. Most editing applications will allow you to convert the raw footage into smaller files that put less pressure on your computer processor. Known as proxy files, these are temporary, low resolution versions of your raw footage that you can edit with. Because they're smaller in size, they put less strain on your computer. Then, when the edit is complete with these proxy files, you can easily relink them back to the original raw footage in the edit software and export your edits in full quality. It's a huge time saver. Being able to work with raw footage gives you the freedom to reuse your footage from a shoot and get more mileage from your videos. If you're filming an event and want to get a bunch of testimonials to use in the future, having access to the raw footage can be a great benefit. But it can take a lot of time for someone with no editing experience to work with raw footage. 
So the perceived savings of using someone in-house rather than a professional isn't always cost or time effective. However, we often edit with raw footage provided by either other production companies, stock footage agencies, or even non-professionals. Whatever the footage we work with, we always turn them into perfect edits that our clients are happy with. For more handy tips on how to get the best out of your corporate video project, subscribe to us on YouTube or find us on social media.